you're walking into the school cafeteria. It is absolutely crowded, packed with loads of other students. Faces that you know, faces that you don't know. But then you look around and you see everyone is staring at you. Everyone is looking at you. And you start to think, why are they staring? Why, why are they looking at me? Why is everyone looking at me? Are they, are they thinking about me? Are they, are they judging me? And before you know it, your body starts to become closed in on itself. You start to become insecure, worried, shy, and you start to overthink. There's a secret I can tell you that will help you get over this, and it's the halo effect. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been right. So before I delve into the halo effect, I want to tell you my story. You see, I was that kid that walked into the school canteen or cafeteria or was how some people might say. I walked in and I was always so worried, just even waiting in line, this long ass queue to try and go in and get your food. I was so anxious and nervous just because I thought people were looking at me to the point where I would go up and I'd order this last panini and someone behind me would be like, oh no mate, can you spare that? And I'd be like, yeah, okay, here you go. I'll get something else. Something that I didn't want, something that I didn't like. That's what I used to be like every single day. But I had a couple friends, so it's fine. You know, I was in a group of friends, so it's okay. I felt so insecure and I overthought so much. And it was like I had no confidence and that's not okay. Despite I may have some really good friends right now, but I'm still not confident. I want to be able to talk to people. So how? So this is what we're going to talk about. The halo effect. The halo effect is characteristics we base off one single characteristic. This mindset was the key to help me overcome and change, almost like a completely per different person overnight. You see, the halo effect is basically when we align other characteristics to one person based off one characteristic. For example, say for example, you see a guy in the bus who is well dressed very attractive you know he's got chiseled jaw he takes care of his skin so his skin is clear he's got nice dark long curly hair dressed well smart super attractive guy you see him complete random stranger you know nothing about him yet you'll start thinking oh yeah that guy's that guy's pretty rich he's smart you know he lives a good life you know he probably has slept with a couple people yeah he's an attractive dude he lives well you start aligning other characteristics to him just by simply how you saw him based off one characteristic he is attractive you start to think about all these other things that he is he could be some super attractive guy but he could be the most insecure person on the planet or he could be a guy that drug deals with I don't know, the president or something. Like, he could be anything else, but we will create our own beliefs aligning to him, even though he's a complete random stranger. Now, I just want you to be aware that when you are dealing with people that you will or may be blinded by this one characteristic, and it's usually the bad. A lot of people focus on the bad thing that someone is, that they do, something that they've done, over the good things that they are. We tend to get be we tend to be blinded by this one single characteristic, the halo effect. However, by understanding this, so if we see, you know, one person who, who is well-dressed, looks good, takes pride, you know, he's attractive, he's probably rich, probably lives a good life, probably smart. If this halo effect works on when we see others, then it will work on you, how others see you. This is how I became more confident, the secret. And that was, I simply aimed to look a slightly bit better. So, what I want you to do, I want you to stress better. I want you to spend a little time making sure your clothes are clean, that your shirts are ironed, that your trousers are ironed, that you are simply not dressing in like the super expensive designer stuff. No, you don't need to do that. That when you dress, that your clothes are nice, that they're good quality. Not that they're stained or dirty or you've worn them a couple times and you're like eh there's no visible dirt i don't need to wash it or iron it i can wear it again i want you to actually take a little bit more pride in the clothes that you wear 
make sure that you're getting just good quality stuff that you're washing them cleaning them ironing them so they look nice you know uh, i can't be asked to use deodorant today nah spend some time actually making sure you smell nice finding that right cologne making sure that your hair's washed that you've actually put good product in to make sure you look nice that you have a good skincare routine all i want you to do is simply focus on looking a slight bit better because if you look a slight bit better you know you're well dressed you take care of your skin you make sure that your hair looks nice you make sure that you smell nice that's a really important one by the way people won't say people won't tell you if you smell bad but they will tell you if you smell nice so if you aren't being told that you are like you smell good it's a chance that you don't smell good that you smell kind of there that's how you can tell that you smell good people t will tell you that you smell good they won't tell you if you smell bad so smelling how you smell is a really important one because people will compliment that and if people notice that then welcome they are now doing the halo effect on you they're gonna start thinking other things about you okay this dude smells nice and he actually like he's dressing well you know he's taking pride in his looks he's probably doing quite well for himself you know he's probably quite confident he i mean he looks like he is you know uh, yeah you may be the most insecure motherfucker on the planet but the halo effect when you know this is an effect you become more confident when you walk out of a house you've just had a haircut you've just ironed your clothes You've got this new cologne, you smell better. Your skin is actually looking clear for the first time because you've actually tried a skincare routine. You've actually tried washing your face and your hair looks the best it's ever been because you actually put product in. You will feel so confident, unbelievably confident and other people will look at you the same. If you do this, the next time you're walking in college where you get to wear your own clothes, you walk into the canteen. When you next think people are looking at you, you won't then think, oh no, are they thinking about me? Oh, that's bad. Ah, ah. You'll walk with shoulders back with a confidence in your stride. Yeah, I can see a couple of people looking at me. I actually spent a little effort. Yeah, all right. Come, all right. Yeah, let's go. The halo effect genuinely helped me overcome overnight. If there are some guides that you don't really know, like, for example, like a skincare routine or like just, you know, how to dress better or how to you know what colognes to use i've got a couple of skincare routines on my channel which you can look at just the key aspects of like the basics i do recommend giving a proper look at like different like colognes to use or like proper skincare routines for your skin type or like you know what clothes suit you best give, i'll give you a really quick rundown check what skin type you have oily dry or combined then treat your skin accordingly to those cologne valentino really really good a little pricey but genuinely i have used a lot and this has got the most compliments and then clothes just buy good quality stuff make sure it's clean it can be anything it could be even gym clothes shirts you know just make sure that you're wearing clean comfy confident like good quality stuff and then product if you got thick hair thick straight hair like me i just put a little sea salt because it just gives it a little bit more texture a little bit more thickness and the same thing if you got like thin hair just find products that give it a little bit more volume although i i would recommend going onto a, like a full binge for youtube to find different clips that really help you i don't unfortunately have that to give to you but there are a lot of others out there that really help hopefully this video helped you out and i would be really appreciative if you clicked the video that's going to pop up in the corner here because this video could help you out too and subscribe if you want to see more content like this stay consistent and do the best you can <laughs> come here self-improve kiss